Bonjour, it's my first time in Paris and I'm so grateful to my friend Camille who is my native tour guide. Without her, I'd definitely be lost and confused and far too obviously American and I don't want an Emily in Paris moment. We landed on Sunday after basically a red eye and managed to get to our place of stay in one shape and no lost luggages, but it was a close call. We settled, napped, ate some food, and then ventured out to the only places open on Sundays, Champs-Élysées and Arc de Triomphe. Seeing the view first thing was super magical. <laughs> we shopped, went to the largest Asian art museum in Paris. This was so beautiful and I feel like footage and museum just like don't do the museum itself justice. Anyway, we got hot chocolate as a snack and Camille got an iced latte but clearly that was not an iced latte. And then for dinner we had the greatest pizza in the entire world according to my friend and I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10 which is pretty solid. Morning. It's 11 a.m. and I am still jet lagged and tired. We're planning on going to Musée de l'Orangerie today and I am so excited. Of all the museums, this is the one that I am most excited to visit. I think Camille is still sleeping. I'm not sure. But either way, we're having a late and chill start to our morning, so I am still in bed. You're going to have to get used to the voiceover because that's the only time I talk to the camera in this entire vlog, but it's okay. Because we're here on spring break, it's nice to just rest, relax, and recover, which also looks like doing my school readings and knitting. I've been working on this balaclava for forever and I don't know if I'll ever get it finished. Look at the view, it is so beautiful and makes me so happy. I can't believe I'm here living this life. For lunch we had Chinese food, which was so good. I'm still thinking about it. And we also got boba, which was also delicious. To walk it off, we went to Hotel de la Marine, which was actually not a hotel. Hotel, Hotel, Hotel de la Marine? I have no idea, my French is so bad. Um, but it's a palace and one of the most beautiful that I've been in and I'm in love with the beautiful interior, so this was such a treat. We explored the area a bit more and I found my way to a bookstore as per usual and then we ate some pasta for dinner. The carbs in this country reign superior. Speaking of, I got a baguette yesterday and I'm so excited to eat a real French baguette with fresh butter. Let me tell you, this was one of my favorite meals of the trip. There is beauty in simplicity like bread and butter. It made me so happy. I know I just ate, but for brunch I got salmon benedict and Camille tried to get an ice latte again and it was not an ice latte. Um, but the food was really good and I was a big fan. To recover from the amount of food we ate, we went to a supposed pharmacy, but really it's more like French skincare heaven. I stocked on some of my favorites. The pharmacies here, amazing. Afterwards, we went to Musée d'Orsay, which was so beautiful. I love museums and this was really a museum trip. The 
this is like the streets of Paris or like a map of Paris which was super interesting and I really liked it you have this reminds me of Hugo yeah Hugo is like the, the kid right yeah yeah I've watched it it's good I think it's good yeah I liked it anyway I got this Van Gogh theme Miffy because duh look at her she's so cute I have zero regrets she made me so happy while we're on this souvenir adventure, we went to Shakespeare and Co. and I got the tote of my dreams! <laughs> I'm holding it right now. We weren't allowed to take videos or photos, but I tried to sneak some as best as I could. You'll just have to visit and experience it. It was so beautiful. And look at the cafe. I got three books which were Song of Achilles, The Grace of Kings, and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And look at the stamp! The stamp is so cute! On this book trek, we went to AB Bookshop, which is nearby. Also a super cute English language bookstore, but it was which very, one? very, very small. Oh, that sounds intense. It's all but in, it's in French. French. But it's in French, so learning French in French is not. I'm gonna Google Translate every single word. But it's so pretty. This is like the official like, from the French account. Oh, okay. We'll take notes. It's folded. Okay, Spanish one. I might get this. 1001 pitfalls in Spanish. <laughs> Spanish grammar. Wait, yeah. Wait. This one's so. Like, I like the vintage. But it's sad looking. It's so cheap. <clears throat> it's secondhand, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like seen maybe it's dead. <laughs> Lastly, for dinner, we ate some crips. Technically, not a crip. I don't remember what it's called, but in America, we call everything a crip, but that's wrong. So the tickets for Musée de Lingerie didn't work on Tuesday, but we're here now and I could literally cry. A moment of silence for the water lilies. People kept getting in my shots of the paintings, but I guess go for it. We planned to go to ballet after, but the metro wasn't in service because of the strikes. So instead, we walked around, went to another bookstore, and I just, I love books. I'm having a great time. On this adventure, we're getting Camille's real ice latte from Cafe Kitsune. This one that we went to was quite crowded, and so we decided to detour and go to another one. And on the way, I stopped by Aesop for a skincare product that I've been eyeing. And we're finally here. This one that we went to instead was much bigger and much better. And finally, the ice latte of our dreams. <laughs> While pastries are abundant, iced coffee and lattes in general were 
not as popular in Paris for some reason, so it's been a struggle. Since we were in this ballet earlier today, we decided to go to Repetto and get point shoe fittings. I have been wanting to go to Repetto for a long time, especially since they don't have a store in the US and the ones that they did have were super expensive. In general, it's very hard to get a fitting and so I was super excited. Ballet core at its extreme. <laughs> We. I decided to get a pair of point shoes and I was really, really tempted by the ballet flats. I'm coming back for you. We got our purchases and made our way to the Louvre. This is disgraceful, but the main reason I wanted to visit the Louvre was because of Lord's melodrama. And I get it. I get why people make art about this place of art because it is so beautiful. When I saw the winged victory, I couldn't stop thinking about the fact that I had seen it on Animal Crossing already. But anyway, I should censor my intrusive thoughts. We went home to rest and I chatted with my sister. It's a beautifully sunny day and the first order of business is always coffee and so we got Pret and it's like we're back on Columbia's campus. As for food, we went to Le Relais, <laughs> Le Relais de L'Entrecourt, oh my gosh, um, we went to this restaurant that is super famous and I tried to pronounce it and then I gave up so here it is. They're known for their unlimited steak and fries and it was surprisingly a good combo. We spent the rest of the day shopping and I found the leather jacket of my dreams. The store had a bunch of cute booths and there were so many vintage things. I've been looking for a leather jacket for so long and it made me so happy that I finally found one that I adored. I also thought about getting this backpack from Rains, but this backpack and I stopped myself because I don't need another bag. I don't need... It's fine. Anyway, I did go back to Repetto to get the ballet flats and I'm obsessed with them. They were so cute. I don't have footage of the exact pair, but you will see me wearing them. And afterwards, we went to Bibliothèque Nationale de France and it was so pretty. I would love to sit here for hours and just bask in its glory. But alas, we have things to do. There are a lot of arcades in the area, and by arcade we mean indoor alleyways or something like that, not a space to play video games. And we explored some of them searching for a boba shop. Got a bit lost and stumbled upon this bookstore. Um, and eventually we got our boba. The next morning I got pastries and then I was on my way back to New York. I hope you enjoyed exploring Paris with me and I will see you next time. Bye!